Hello and welcome in this um, very short video and today we are going to talk all about endometriosis and the back pain. Uh, this is a requested video. So what I want you to do first, I want you to understand the connection uh, between the back pain and endometriosis and where it's coming from. So endometriosis implants are based outside of the uterus and sometimes they just irritate nerves they are too close to the nerves and they keep on pushing them that's why they result in the back pain in pain in other organs as well because they are affecting the nerves and presence of those endo tissues outside uterus makes organs uh, such as intestines um, such as uh, other organs to adapt and fit to existing structures so the organs are trying to make a space and avoid this endometriosis uh, implants and they just like shifting a little bit so as a result the natural po position of the uterus and surrounding organs can be altered which results in the pain also in the back pain because if all your organs moves then all your bowel is affected, all your back is affected, as well as chronic inflammation that is contributing to the back pain. And release of inflammatory substances can cause the muscles to contract and spasm, contract and spasm, which as a result, you know, gives you a lot of pain, including the back pain. So there are the different types of the back pain uh, pelvic pain that is radiating to the back because the uh, pain can travel. Pain during menstruation that you can feel in your back as well. Or just a lower back pain. And you know which kind you might have because if you are on your period, you know it's menstruation pain. You know uh, how the uh, pain might be radiating. And it's basically these three different types so what can you do to help yourself when you have the back pain uh, but back pain sucks it really does and there's the few things that help me when i was recovering from endometriosis first of all uh, changing the diet to eliminate chronic inflammation because the chronic inflammation leads to pain and those who knows me knows that i'm very religious about it anti-inflammatory diet is sadly <laughs> or maybe thankfully a must so you have to change the diet and change the lifestyle then what you can do straight away uh, apply the heat therapy heat therapy are very good for um, relaxing the muscles so you've got a lot of um, different vi variety you've got the heat plasters heat pads and heat belts that you can even uh, use on your back and this might be contra intuitive a little bit but the gentle stretching such as yoga Ma uh, very very much help uh, when it comes to your back so try all of those all together and i hope that helps so by now you know the uh, correlation between the back pain and endometriosis and why it hurts and what you can do to help yourself i hope this short video helped and please share it with others thank you so much for watching and see you soon